Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy the strongest wizard and tonight is fine night and we got my boy Neek Neek rocking the Bloom Lord and me myself and I rocking the Minerva Loop. Uh, I have been really enjoying this deck even though, you know, it is a bit difficult to pilot. I do love a good challenge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hatch uh, the egg here, go into the Gabu and go into the Devimon for a cost of one. Uh, and Neek Neek here going into his Pulse Mon and then Evoing into the Red Vegemon. And then he's going to Evo into the brand new level 5 uh, for a 3 cost. I think it's Agitar or Avatar or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and send me to 3 here. Uh, I'm going to raise my uh, my Devimon. I'm going to go in for a 2 cost to so play the Analog, getting the Gabu. Uh, just really trying to cycle through my deck here. And um, I do have the um, Cerberus in hand, so I'm gonna set him to two. I'm feeling pretty confident that I can't, it won't die here, so we'll go ahead and see. He's gonna use the effect to uh, tap his uh, Digimon here to play a, uh, a, a vegetation Digimon for free. Um, going into, uh, yeah, and then he's going to the Bloom Lord here for a cost of four, uh, gaining two memory because there's two suspended Digimon. He's gonna gain one memory off of the uh, sources and then he's gonna be able to restand, gain 2k, and he's singing for two checks, and I believe at 14, 15k. So he's gonna hit two, uh, hitting one of the analogs here. I'm gonna fortunately get my Minerva finally, and now I'm thinking it's looking pretty good to me. And then he's gonna hit me with the card that I did not expect him to play at all. And uh, he's gonna hit me with the, let's see if he plays it. Uh, I guess he's thinking about Digivolving here. Um, decides not to, but he's gonna actually play the Grandil Soul here for a cost of five. And this pretty much, if he has two suspended Digimon, he uh, reduces the cost by two. And then he gets to suspend one Digimon and then bottom deck one Digimon that's suspended. So uh, I pretty much cry, but at least I'm at five memory here. Um, and he's gonna evo into the I'm gonna go ahead and evo into the Gabu at five memory here um, I'm trying to really figure out how to work around this deck um, He does have sec plus one now just because he has he's gonna have two Digimon suspended pretty easily um, Pretty powerful deck um, I guess I guess it's pretty good against especially Minerva since they can get more than three bodies out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just play the calling here to get two Digimon, getting the Gazi and the Devumon. Um, you see me quickly regret that and getting the uh, Eismon. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into four, Evo into two for the Eismon and then play the Gazi, setting him to one. Like I said, this is the first time I'm playing against the, the actually, actually this is the second time I'm playing against Bloom Lord. So I'm not really sure exactly if you can't suspend my Digimon, I know Bloom Lord itself doesn't do that. So, um, yeah, really seeing here how it plays out. And he's going to go into the uh, level 5 here um, and just put him to 2, uh, choosing not to swing here. So, um, he's going to send me to 2. Um, and now I'm thinking about just evoing into the level 5 and, and raising and just uh, passing turn. So, I'm going to go ahead and raise. Um, I don't think he's gonna play another Grendel Soul, so <laughs> um, and it looks like I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and Evo into the Cerberus here, uh, setting choking him to one with the actual Gazi. You know, Gazi, I think, doing really wonders for here. So he's gonna tap the uh, Avatar here. He's gonna freeze, he forgot to draw, so he's gonna draw and he's gonna be able to play another Digimon here, uh, playing the Red Vegemon, Evo into the Pulse one and raising and um. I think he's trying to figure out how he can suspend the uh, red Vegemon. Um, but I believe as long as he has two, uh, Bloom War gets sec plus one and um, it gains uh, piercing and 2k. So he's gonna, oh yeah, so he's gonna go into the uh, the option cost here to suspend me. Um, and he's gonna swing over me with piercing, uh, two checks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap analog to gain two memory. I'm gonna draw two cards here to trash one. And um, I'm going to go ahead and trash the Lusamon. I'm going to draw two off of the Gabu. Um, trashing, it looks like a, um, looks like maybe an option here. Um, this is the hardest part, I feel like, with purple. is just <laughs> figuring out what to trash. Uh, but it just takes a little bit of practice and uh, figuring it out. And so it looks like I have almost 15 cards in trash. So I really need to figure out how I can do this and see if we can even win this next turn. 
You see here me debating whether to actually hard play the Eismon. Um, really thinking hard here. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go into the Devimon for one. And um, I'm going to actually play the Jack Ray to gain one memory going to two. And then I'm going to play another Jack Ray going to three. I'm going to go ahead and Evo into the uh, Cerberus here, uh, going to zero, drawing off of that. Um, do I have the werewolf mode here uh, to do anything? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swing at the red veggie. I want to get some bodies off of the board, I'm trying to stabilize. I'm gonna use the effect here to gain two memory by dropping the service werewolf mode uh, to draw two trash one, um, setting at two memory. He does have rush. I am gonna trash the uh, Gabumon. I'm gonna swing over here at the level five. I am 9k. So. Like I said, sitting at two memory, and I think here um, I'm gonna play another Jack Ray to go to four, gain two memory. I'm gonna go into the Minerva, going to one, and then I think this is where we get the loop going. Um, yep, I'm uh, just debating here. Want to make sure I'm doing the right play here, so I'm going to the revive, getting the Cerberus effect of the Minerva to get the Werewolf mode, popping the Cerberus to draw two trash one, uh, gain nine memory, and. Um, sitting at six and then i'm debating what i want to trash here um so i let that go and currently sitting at six memory do i want to swing do i want to keep going here how far until i feel safe um he is sitting at just the one bloom lord which i believe is at 12k um so i'm gonna swing at security here hits into a bloom lord of course it does um it happens right so um the good thing about this matchup is that when Minerva set up and they play a Digimon by even by effect, I get to play a level four lower. So dropping my blockers, my Gazis, um, really matching his tempo is super key here, um, which is I think one of the reasons why I think Minerva does actually pretty good against Bloom Lord uh, in comparison to something else like uh, you know something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the um, the. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and play the option here to bring back Lusamon to pop as level six. Um, still a really good card. He's gonna go into the Vegemon and raising here, go into one, and then drop the Mimi here, uh, putting me to three, uh, which is really good. Now I can go into a level six. Um, I have a lot of possibilities here. So, uh, debating if I want to raise here, I don't see why I wouldn't want to actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, raise. I'm gonna swing. Um, it's gonna suspend the Lusamon. Uh, not too worried about it, honestly. I do wish I would have had that check, but uh, I am gonna go here into the Lilith Mon uh, for a cost of three, getting a Jack Raid. I'm trying to think of my second target here. What do I? What do I need in my hand? Uh, debating on when I got the revive, and I do get the revive here. Um, so getting the revive and that card right there. The Sukaimon did live, so. Uh, just having that extra body is really good. I'm gonna end up playing the revive here for four um, um, Actually, no, I'm sorry I play the jack grade go to four memory and then I play the revive going to zero tapping the two analogs to hatch and Then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play a level five from trash uh, I'm getting the loose on here um, and a misplay that I completely forgot is that Revive does not play the on play, uh, so I should not have deleted that tamer. Um, I am sorry <laughs> to everybody watching. Um, you know, there is so many effects that, uh, yeah, Revive doesn't play. They, that card would be just too broken if it played the on play, so. Um, you know, I think honestly though, I probably would have been in still a good position if I would have went into. Um, into a another level five and then still tap them um to go into a, another minerva i think it was still would have been okay but you know uh i we live and we learn right so i'm currently here sitting at uh three memory i'm gonna swing with the minerva hits into something um debating whether i want to swing with the gazi um i do end up doing that um it does die drawing one trashing one my deck is looking rather thin now um so i do get the trash off i have infinite amount of digimon in trash now so i'm gonna go ahead and play the uh the uh the revive here tapping two analog to gain two memory and then i'm gonna go to go to 10 memory uh bringing back the cerberus off of the uh revive and then minerva effect getting back the werewolf mode uh we're going ahead and just making sure that we got the numbers correct and we do uh currently sitting at uh, 10 memory so i'm gonna go ahead and swing at security and then i'm gonna just drop the cerberus um and swing for nine 
Um, so we got game one. Uh, unfortunately, we did misplay, but um, we are still learning the decks here. So game two, I'm gonna go into the Psychmon, go into the Eismon, going to setting Nico here to two. He's gonna go into the Pulsemon, into the Red Vegemon. And then go into that level five that we always speak of, uh, setting me to two. I'm gonna raise. I need to get my trash sorted out. Um, nothing happens. Uh, does survive, and I'm gonna choke him to one with a Gazi. And this is the game where I realized that Gazi really does really good against this matchup. Um, and he's gonna go ahead and, and hard play the Palmon. Uh, not hard play, but by the effect of the level five to play the Palmon for free. And he's gonna reveal, I believe, the top four, getting uh, a fairy and a vegetation Digimon. Um, so he's gonna get the blue mord and then that little dinosaur dragon bird thing that does not allow me to special uh, summon digimon which is a really good card so he's gonna go into the red veggie for one going to zero and now i'm thinking it's pretty good because now he's gonna at least put me to three to memory uh he's gonna evo into the level three setting me to three which is super good for me um i'm gonna go ahead and hatch uh and raising here um he does have the two level sevens. If there's a way I can wipe his board right now, super good. Um, let's see what I do here. Um, I do have the level three, so I'm actually gonna go into the Cerberus, swing at Cerberus here. Uh, I mean, swing at his level five with Cerberus. Um, and then I'm actually gonna go into the uh, Minerva for three. I wanted to clear the bodies out, him not having another Digimon. He would have been able to suspend both to bring out two more Digimon. Going into Bloom Lord, it would have been pretty chaotic, but I do realize that the Gazi is saving my life here. The fact that he can get rid of this Gazi means that he can gain memory off of the Bloom Lord. He's an evil into his Blossom here for uh, free. Um, and um, unfortunately, I didn't get a special summon a Digimon off of the special effect of him playing that level four digimon because i have no nothing in trash so <laughs> um you hate to see it but he's gonna go ahead and evil for four setting me to one he does get to, he does get the restem because he has two suspended so you know uh not too bad for him um now i'm debating here what i want to do do i want to swing over the blossom do i want to swing at security um i do have retail baked in so which is really good so Let's go ahead and see what I have. I don't even have a Cerberus in trash, so I can't even start my loop yet. Um, but all I know is that the Gazi is for sure staying. Like I said, it is super good in this matchup. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and swing over the Blossom. I wanna get rid of some bodies, kind of slow down his momentum. I don't want him to run too rapid, uh, rampant if, I, uh, if I'm not able to uh, cover my bases here. So I'm gonna death claw here uh, for one going to zero. I'm gonna draw one trash one off of the Demi uh, Marimon, gaining one memory by trashing the Nidhogg. Effect of uh, her, I'm going to um, bring out the Cerberus off of the uh, sources, and then I'm gonna go into the Minerva, setting my opponent to do. Uh, it is important to note that I did go into the Gaussian raising, so he's gonna go ahead and use the effect to bring out a Digimon, um, his Palmon. Uh, I'm just letting him know now that I'm going to be able to play a Digimon for free. Um, so he's going to go ahead and play his Palmon, use the effect. It does whiff. I do get an Eismon. And now it's looking really good for me. Uh, the fact that I'm matching his momentum is super key. Um, so um, seeing here what he can do to come and just steal the show here. Um, he's going to go into the Argomon suspending to make it a free cost and then he's gonna swing swinging two checks at I believe 14k hits into a Cerberus and then hits into a death x it does die only at 14k maybe 15k and then he's gonna go ahead and drop that bird that i was talking about earlier um so you know it does have a little bit of protection but um it won't really too, matter too much um i have kind of a lot going on but i can't start my loop yet because of that bird um not being able to play any digimon by special effects is pretty bad um fortunately for me i can pretty much wipe his whole board here so i'm gonna swing at security does hit into the green memory boost which i which i do not mind uh it doesn't really matter since i have the double gazi out i'm gonna swing over his level five here um thinking about how i want to get rid of his other cards because like i said i don't want him to build a big board 
um, so that it's difficult for me to get rid of some cards so that I cannot run my loop. So I'm gonna go actually swing over the Palmon. He is at 1K, that Palmon, so um, not too bad. And I'm gonna go into the Devimon for two. Um, staying at two and then i'm gonna go into the cerberus here actually for three costs um not afraid at all here um there's no way he can get rid of that gauzy um he can't pop the blue the green memory boost he can't evo uh, and hit over the gauzy because i have the blocker out uh, so he's gonna go ahead and play the Grand Soul here to uh, suspend the Devimon and bottom deck the Minerva Mon. Um, it is going to believe be an eight cost. Yeah, he doesn't have to suspend it, so he's not going to be able to uh, reduce the cost by two. So I'm gonna go ahead and hatch, go into the Psych Mon. Psych Mon is a worthless card in this matchup, so I'm gonna swing with the Cerberus here uh, for a uh, for a DP of nine K. Um, does end up surviving. Um, debating whether I want to go all in now. Um, do I have the extra Cerberus or a Rush card to win this game in my hand? I most likely do. Just making sure that I have, I do it in the right order. Um, you know, uh, especially for the fact that I will be losing two memory off the Devimon. It's just something to note. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the analog. I do have the time, so I'm gonna go and go into the get the Minerva here off of the analog. Uh, I am sitting at six memory. As long as I have, um, as long as I have, I have the Minerva as we just seen, and it looks like I do have uh, the other card. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play for four here. Uh, the the um, I'm gonna play the the Eismon for for a play cost of four, then Evo into the Minerva, choking my opponent to one. Uh, this is still a really good play, even with all that being said. I don't think there's any way he can get rid of the Gazi. Um, now, if he did have, if he did have Nidhogg here, he can go into Blossom for free, um, and then go into Nidhogg, which would just destroy me. Uh, I just say it's, it's pretty much curtains after that play. Uh, but he does not have that card in his hand. So I am going to go ahead and swing for two checks here, uh, and just call it a day. Um, so I do get that pretty convincingly. Um, other than that misplay, you hate to see it, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. And stay tuned because I have a ton of new BT10 content coming out soon. See ya!